My name is Geraint Evans, I'm the Bioenergy Programme Manager here at the ETI. Well, the name of this bioenergy project is the Characterization of Feedstocks Project. Biomass is used to define anything that uh, is or was living. Here at the ETI we're interested in uh, specially grown non-food bioenergy crops such as Miscanthus, short rotation willow coppice. We want to seek to find out how the properties of these biomass vary and importantly why they vary. Our project is being led by Forest Research who are an executive agency of the Forestry Commission and Forest Research are going to identify sample sites and they're going to take those samples and send them to EON's labs so that they can be analysed. When we get the results back from the EON lab, we'll be able to understand what caused the changes in the biomass properties that we're looking at. Because of the range of uh, types of biomass and the range of properties that people can experience. This adds costs to people who want to burn and use the biomass in industry. If we can understand that range of properties and pre-treat biomass, there's potential for them to use that uh, material more cheaply. The ETI's modelling shows that bioenergy is very important to uh, achieving 2050 targets in the UK. Without it, costs of producing low carbon energy in 2050 will be up to 90 billion higher. Bioenergy is also important when combined with carbon capture and storage technologies because in that way we can absorb carbon dioxide from the air and this gives us an even stronger lever to achieve our 2050 targets. To achieve this potential we need to understand more about growing sustainable bioenergy crops and the impacts these have downstream when consumers use them to produce electricity and heat.